<laughs> he got a selfie with Snoop Dogg. Of course, I posted a picture. My mom calls me and was like, where was his shirt? That's inappropriate because my mom is unfazed by the celebrity culture. My name is Blair Imani. I'm black, queer, and Muslim. I'm an author and historian. I want to educate people about stuff that matters to me and matters to our community. The first time you see black people in American history books, it's either us being little like caricatures, it's us being depicted as different racial stereotypes, something like this that feels like a picture book, but also feels like, like a photo gallery that you're looking from your like family photos. And the colors just are so rich that it feels like these people are alive and it feels like they were part of history. I make so many connections with different people and that's really what like fuels my spirit. I meet like older women who tried out for Motown records and like I meet people whose um, grandparents were also, you know, under the threat of lynching had to flee to California or to Detroit. And making those human connections with people, you can spread that access, wealth and opportunity. Other communities that need safe spaces, which so, includes so the LGBTQ a, so, community, okay, the black so we, community. Okay. There needs to be spaces where people I, are I'm free not sure you're from not being harassed. On their behalf too. Uh, but I, I feel like I'm harassed a lot online, whatever. Well, I don't speak for all Muslims, and I actually am a, a black queer woman in, in addition to being a Muslim. Coming out, especially on that TV show, which is not a safe space, is worth that one person feeling like you're not alone because you're not. You know, you can go through a lot of different things that are very isolating because our society wants to isolate people who feel othered. That's the whole premise of oppression and social categorization, but you're not alone. And if I can help another person feel like that, everything I do is worth it. When I started wearing a hijab, I was in this like, model Muslim mindset that, you know, I'm wearing a hijab and I'm praying five times a day. And it also started to make me judgy to other people. Like I would see people who were like wearing hijab how I'm wearing it now. And I'd be like, girl, you better cover your head or you going to hell. And I was so focused on other people. First time I wore hijab, I was working at Heineken and I walked into the office in my scarf and I was so nervous about what my boss would say. And so I walked in and my boss just was like, cool scarf. So Blair, I need you to do this report. And I was just like, awesome. Like Justin, you're dope. <laughs> like he was so chill. But now I'm like looking at hijab and a different way like I shaved my head in 2018 or 2017 and that made me start thinking about like my femininity and modesty in a different way and so I started thinking of my hair not as this burden or not as something that needs to be hidden but a part of me and then hijab became more of a choice and not just like a cultural expectation and I think that's where everyone should come to in whatever way they express their religious identity <laughs> BeautyCon 2018. I'm chaperoning Tati McQuay, who's an amazing influencer. She's like, I think she was like 15 at the time, so I like had to be like right there with her. So she's like, let's go. And I'm like, okay. And I didn't know like if it was because like one of her fans was like being too much of a creep, but I was like, hey Tati, are you okay? She was like, yeah, I heard on the radio that Snoop Dogg's around the back. And I was like, girl, Snoop Dogg, in true Snoop Dogg fashion, is enjoying what I assume to be a marijuana cigarette outside of his van, chilling, no shirt. And I'm like, should we say hi? I'm like, yeah, we should say hi. Like I've seen so many videos with Snoop Dogg where he's just like a super cool dude to be around. Plus he's like a grandpa. And so we go, hey Snoop, can we get a selfie? And he's like, come on down, baby, let's get it done. And that was probably like the best celebrity interaction. And of course I immediately posted, I don't even think I like put a caption. I just was like, hey, got a selfie with Snoop Dogg. I like my nose the most about myself because um, it's not perfectly symmetrical, which is fine. And if it were, that would be weird. But I like that it's round and I like that I have features about me that speak to like my African heritage. I think about how I didn't really like see noses that look like mine until like Rihanna was kind of on the scene and Beyonce and like she even talks about her Negro nose and Jackson 5, you know, nostrils and stuff. And I used to like flare my nostrils when I was a kid and I had one aunt who would always pinch my nose to try to make it back to this narrow shape. And that's like super traumatic if you think about like the implications of that. I started to realize like, no, this is something unique about myself and I like that about myself. The other thing is my lips. I remember when like my lips came in when I was like a young adolescent, these moms at the school I went to, these moms would come up and be like, where did you get your lips done? Cause it's LA. And I would be like, um, genetics, <laughs> you know, like I'm black. Live tinted means to me like be proud of your color and don't feel like you have to whitewash yourself to fit in or be beautiful. My name is Blair Amani and I live tinted.